think that I often say that Rick Scranton's kind of arguably the birthplace of like skiing as we know it right now. This little resort, 200 kilometers north of the Arctic Circle, like we're so far north that the sun, late May, June, it, it doesn't even set, it just goes in a circle in the sky and it's such a wild place. Next to our hotel, there's like six helicopters parked, there's 300 snowmobiles, um, people are touring, people are living in tents next to the lift. So it's like, it's got like rich British guys coming in heli skiing and then you got dirt bags living in literally like 18 people in one Swedish military tent with a wood burning stove in it. So it's like, it's just pure ski culture up here, man. There's no place like this on earth that's like this special. We were down here at the Caravan parking. It's, it's really different from regular ski resort life. They got a mix of everybody. So you can have the old grandpa, 80 years old, going out on the lake doing fishing, and you can have the, the grandsons that are four or five years old skiing or snowmobiling. So people going with the snowmobile, that's like the biggest thing for them. This is uh, a sled guy's Disneyland. And for me, when you come here, mostly during the springs, uh, the light and everything around that, combined with the snow and the mountains, you sort of, you get a calm in your, your body, your soul, you're just focusing on the skiing and being out in the nature and everything that goes with that. You can be skiing during 12 o'clock in the night and you still have like a lot of good lighting and that's something I don't think they have anywhere else in the world. I have no idea what day of the week we are. Overwhelming and so good to be here and have light bless you all day, 24 hours. It's just, couldn't be much better really. Just going out in the middle of the night taking a piss and you have to take your, put your sunglasses on. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty Not tight. Fuck your eyes up. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Very simple living in a camp. Collective living is the key communication. Everybody's got to be on the same page. Better than your mama's meals even. The food is done at the same time. Everybody wants to eat the same meal. And so we communicate and collectively make it happen. And we are living well, like five-star hotel out here. Are different, really special. You th at first you think like, oh, these mountains are kind of small and flat, and you're in Sweden, it's not going to be very big. But then you know, 15-minute taxi with a heli, we're out in some insane peaks with over a thousand meters of vert.
1998, the small town of Riksgrönsen, Sweden, hosted an event that brought together new school freestylers from around the globe. Not since the 70s has this aspect of skiing seen such momentum. With a little help from its rowdy cousin, snowboarding, the freestyle movement has regained some of its funk. Gone are the days of rigid daffy twister spreads, and in are quarter pipes, half pipes, huge kickers, and anything the boys can imagine. This is 90s freestyle. It's a bad Here in Rick Scranson for the first annual JP Memorial is because this is the place that uh, JP and I first met. It was the first time that I saw people do things on skis that, um, like I thought that I was looking into the future because no one had done airs in a half pipe um, or quarter pipe with that much style and control. When I grew up and started with the skiing, JP was one of the the biggest stars, the biggest personalities that's like, okay, that's the level, I want to go there. And he was one of those people that showed the way, more or less. To be part of this and putting this arena together to get all the skiers to rip it and just tear it apart, it was, it was amazing. Really happy to be here, like uh, with the 1080, and try to do my best to to make like uh, back in the day jump and stuff like that. When I saw the picture of JP like uh, in the hotel, I saw like he's higher than us, uh, 18 years ago. So <laughs> it's pretty strange. <laughs> Backflip mute is, um, is a classic trick uh, and JP used to master it and it's, it was one of the first um, new school tricks like good old backflip with a, with a new school grab so you know it's, I think it's, it really represents JP.
Won't you tell everybody you meet that the can? 